Hey, welcome back here to the Xfinity Sports Report. Your Colorado High School Connection, Brian Roth, back with you. A special guest joining us in the studio. As you can see, we're joined by some members of Boulder Panther Tennis. Doug Kazarosian, the head coach, and then a couple of fine players. Cap Smith in the middle there, and of course, Jackson Hawk, a couple of state champions from a week ago. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you for having yeah. us. You, you bet. Hey, Jackson, let's start with you. Uh, right. You win number two singles uh, yeah. last week. What is that like? As a senior, you get a state championship. Uh, man, a lot. I mean, I was I got to the semis twice, my freshman year and my junior year, and uh, I just knew I had a good shot this year going in. And like, even though the kids had beaten me a couple times that I played in the semis and final, I knew that like I could take them both. And I just I wanted it so bad, and I just really focused for like the nights before, and like I practiced really hard, and I was just ready to go, and I executed I think yeah it's that storybook ending to close out your senior year it doesn't get any better than that yeah. meanwhile cap Smith wins number one singles he is not a senior and uh, you still have a couple more cracks at this but what was it like to, to win a state championship um it was very special because my dad won a state championship when he was a sophomore and so it was really special to win it when I was a sophomore to stay with them there. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you were in the semifinals uh, the year before as a freshman and you make it to the finals as a, as a sophomore and, and win it. Well I guess it begs the question, did your dad win a state championship as a junior and a senior? No, <laughs> just as a sophomore. Just as a sophomore. Yeah. All so. right, so you still have a little more work to do. Yeah. Well, hey, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about these two and, and the fact that they were able to take home state championships and, and Boulder Tennis ends up in a tie for fourth. You know, it was it was a fantastic experience for all of us, and uh, you know, for Boulder High Tennis, definitely one of our biggest moments. Um, it's been such a pleasure to coach both of these guys and the two different paths they took to getting their state championship. So right, it's really been rewarding. So you're in your first year as the uh, head coach. You were the head coach at Broomfield for five years. You've been involved with tennis uh, your entire life. But it's nice to walk into a situation when you you get a couple of of kids like this to coach, isn't it? Useful, very useful to have talent like this, guys that I've known in the tennis community uh, for a while, uh, guys that are definitely committed to their game and their own self improvement. Really helps because. Uh, tennis is definitely a sport that the off-season dictates how well you perform in-season. And I know for sure these guys really worked hard, and I think it really paid off for them. You know, they won a championship and saw their games ascending uh, through the tournament, which as a coach is always um, easy because if they're playing well and they're playing better and better and better as the rounds progress, um, you know that you really have a shot at doing something. And you know, I, can't, I couldn't be more proud for these two guys, especially Jackson being a senior, uh, fulfilling what he wanted to do out there on the court and uh, maybe throwing a couple of monkeys off his back along right. the way. Right. Jackson, talk a little bit about that match. Uh, you took on Charlie Franks of Denver East, and this was a, a kid who had beaten you twice in the regular season, but you got him when it mattered most. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was so nervous the night before, like, I couldn't sleep. I tried to, like, distract myself by, like, watching a movie the night before <laughs> with my family, but I just couldn't, so then I, like, went down to my room and I strung a racket, actually, to, like, try and, like, just focus on the match, and then I slept terribly. I was, like, tossing and turning the whole night, and, like, I just couldn't stop thinking about it, and I went out and I was like, all right, I just know I gotta turn these nerves to, like, energy, energy, and I just executed my plan and played really well, I thought, and it was. It felt amazing. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I mean, it, if you have to win one match against somebody, you may as well get it done in a state championship yeah, match, exactly. right? <laughs> yeah, it, it was great. I was really pumped. So, Cap, let's talk about your championship match. And, and again, it, it really was a, a, one of the stories of the state tournament. You lose the first set, and then you're down four nothing in the second set, and literally you're, you're about five points away from, from being eliminated, from losing. But somehow, some way, you were able to flip the switch and turn that match around. How were you able to do it? Um, well, we got a ton of students there watching, and I just thought I can't we'll let this go to no use. I, I mean, I got to use my student section to really pump me up, and they did it. 
and that gave me the energy to fight back in the match. Yeah, so you end up winning, I think, what, eight games in, in, a, in a row in that match, but, but to be able to start coming back, I mean, that, that's not an easy thing to do. I mean, was there any one thing that, that kind of spurred you outside of the students? I, I know you had a violation of, of ball abuse. I, I never even heard of ball a abuse. Conduct it's a conduct penalty. It's a penalty. All right. Yeah. It's a penalty, yes. All right, I haven't strung too many rackets in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Talk about that. I mean, that, that seemed to maybe spur you a little bit. Yeah, so I just got a point penalty for hitting the ball a little too high while giving my opponent the ball. And uh, I kind of got in an argument with the umpire. Mm -hmm. And that just kind of got me fired up. And so I just fought back in it from right. there. Yeah. And, and then you got the win. Yeah. Doug, talk a little bit about the, the future, the start with, with Jackson, who wants to go on and play some, some college tennis, and I know you believe he has the ability to do that. Well, without question, Jackson has the ability to play. He also has the will to get it done, right. which is so important, not just in tennis, but in life. Um, you know, as a, an incredibly successful singles player, I know that he will land in a great place and he will be a, uh, a, a great asset to any coach and any program out there because he's willing to work incredibly hard, which is, is such a, a great attribute to have, and he has it for sure. So here's Cap Smith. He's only a sophomore. He's little. <laughs> a, 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 a little or not, uh, you know, you talk about a pretty darn good player. What, what does his future look like? Phenomenally bright. Right. Um, Cap plays with an innate sense of the game. His decision making is usually impeccable and um, very unrobot like. It's such, a, it's such a pleasure to watch him play. He plays an incredibly beautiful game. Uh, he has phenomenal variety off the charts for someone of his age. Um, the nice thing I saw was from last year he added easily 15 pounds and you know grew like a beanstalk there so he's much bigger and more physical now and uh, his game is going to go up because he's adding a lot of nice power to it. You bet. Hey, final thought before we let you go. Uh, Jackson, plans for next year? You do want to go play some college yeah, tennis? Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing college tennis. I'm talking to a lot of coaches and seeing like what they can offer for my schooling and tennis and hoping I find a really good fit. And lately with some good results, like state and a couple other tournaments, it's looking better. So hope it goes in the right direction. And Cap, future plans is to exceed your dad and maybe take home another state championship? Yeah, that's the goal, hopefully. Yeah. I can beat him there. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's a, it's a pretty good tennis family. Hey, gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Always love to show some boulder some love. We had the uh, football program on earlier in the show, and uh, now we have boys tennis. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Thanks that's Doug Kazarosian, Cap Smith, and then Jackson Hawk from Boulder Tennis, couple of state champions there. All right, we'll take a timeout. More high school highlights coming up in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Xfinity Sports Report.